Hello, everybody. It's Tuesday. Another Tuesday, August 8th, 2023. Bryce Castilla bringing you in and out of the green room, great room, whole dang thing. Got one Brett with me here. Hello. Hi. Uh, we're going to get started in just a moment. Of course, want to remind everyone, patreon.com slash great night. That's where you can go to support this whole dang thing over on Patreon. And uh, you can get access to the bonus podcast, The Bones, get early, uh, 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 or no, just get, because uh, no, there's no earliness now, to get the Discord channel, get email updates, easy RSS feed. It's that simple. All right, well, let's... Uh, Let's take a look over at the green room. Green room, can you hear me? Can you hear me? Oh no. Oh. Nobody in there. They're not he they're not even there this time, Brett. Surprise me this time. I know. Well, can you can you go in there? Yeah. Please just well, come, come behind. Just you you go. I'll figure it out. You know what? You I'll you just there. go. Why don't I grab a beer? Just then... Can you grab me a, a cider? Yeah. I'll Thank have you. One okay. Airport. Just go. I'm going. You just go. And it'll and it'll be fine. Hi, Larry. Hi, hello, everybody. We're gonna be Brett and I are gonna be making that room green all night long. Can you just go? Just go. Hi, everybody. Uh, yeah. So Brett and I are gonna be holding down the green room today. Uh, we got Justin around. Brian is out. Uh, oh, Brian. Oh, Brian's out. Oh, Brian's out. Just you know. Uh, it, Am, can you hear me? Yeah. yeah. There I am. Get, get over there. Hi, everybody. Come on over. All right. Give me a sec. Quit yelling at me. I will yell at you. <laughs> <laughs> no schwood. We ain't got no schwood today. We will talk more about that. I'm cleaning off the microphone because this is usually Brian's. I realized the last time that I used this microphone, yeah. I was listening to the show later, yeah. that I was, bre you could hear me breathing. Yeah. You could hear me breathing. And usually with that microphone, Cause, cause I don't have that it. issue. Right. Because it's, because normally. Oh, yeah, that. You're going to uh, do one thing. Yeah, I said, I thing. brought beer. <laughs> you did, thank you. Because <laughs> uh, normally, yeah, that normally brands on that mic. And yeah. I didn't get a chance to do a sound check because that was our, that was us. Doing that at the last minute, right? Um, and so you were that was still set to his gain level, and right. I wasn't listening because I don't like listening myself because this is on a delay. Yeah, and uh, Brian lately has been a little further back pulling, off the mic, pulling away, and so I had been turning it up. Yeah, kind of it just to, to compensate. Uh, audience, if you're listening, and if I sound like I'm, I will not. I try not to eat the mic, uh -huh. but uh, I'll I'll go by. What yeah, I'll say. you're good. Just do the do the chocolate rain. Just, just I, I move away chocolate from the mic to breathe. <laughs> no, it was not that quite. It's not that. That's, that's Doppler rain. First off, <laughs> uh, Brett, for for all of our um, non sighted viewers and anyone watching with the low bit rate yes. going on, I am. I have some scruff. I've got you some do. beard. And, and, uh, and yeah, you're scrapped up. I, I, I did shave this morning. You do. Yeah. You're yeah. looking nice and nice and tight. Yep. But you also, I made the comment earlier when you came in, the first mm. thought was like, hey, I like your hair. Your hair's looking good. Oh, yeah. Thank you. I, I, I cut it. I just cleaned it up, really. Okay. It's like it when it's short like this, it, uh, uh, it'll look Especially from the front, it'll look fine for a while. <laughs> but yeah, it, but the back was was pretty. Was, was oh, pretty. that's I hate that too when it gets low because you know I'm a I'm a bit her suit uh -huh. and uh, I never know when my hairline ends in the back of my neck and my my shoulder oh, fur comes up the Sasquatch. They they haven't cleared off the no man's land. There? I mean, they clear it out, but it grows back, and then after a yeah. while, I'm going, oh, I don't I don't like this. Yeah. Well, so I hadn't had facial hair. The last time I, I like really had facial hair or tried to have facial hair was right after I moved to Austin. Okay, about about nine years back. Okay, and it, that took a while. Like I'll, I'll, that, that took a minute to get there. Where like you know I'm a little older now. It was uh, it came in pretty quick. Okay. Uh, uh, the what was it? I think it was on the bones last week, or maybe it was after. Or no, maybe it was after weird things last week, Thursday or Friday, where. The the guys were like, "Hey, have you 
thought about because I think I was scruffy that day too, and I it must have been the bones because I wasn't on camera, right? And they were like, uh, uh, "Hey, you should maybe think about." It. So I did, and it, this part, this coming. Uh, look, I'm not saying I got. I'm not saying I got an offer man here, right? I'm right. not saying I got an Amish man. No, here. no, no. But but this came in surprisingly quick for like a little third of an inch. I mean, a little bit of. Hey, see, I'm going to be obscure. Uh, -oh. uh, a little bit of Ethan Peck, maybe a little bit of not Zachary Quinto. But the Spock of Ethan of the Strange New Worlds, mm -hmm. when he goes, he gets a little scruffed. Mm, I'm kind of Spocking. You're kind of you're spocking. working. Yeah, you're Spocking. Yeah, that's right. Very it's, much. It's the new. It's it, you've heard of docking. Get ready yes. for Spocking. Spocking. That's a you know you do this yeah. and you live long and prosper. Nanu nanu. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so I yeah so I'm, I'm I don't know I'm gonna see, I the fact that it grew in so fast is why I didn't shave it honestly. Right. You're like. <gasps> Like, oh, it's, uh, it's here. Okay. This is not just a lazy reason. So no. I, I had to do the line. You do have sure. to get the line. Clean up. Yeah. Keep, keep the line clean. Yeah. Um, but, uh, uh, okay. Can I? <laughs> you, well, you had a story. You have your story. No, but you you go oh. ahead because mine's longer okay. probably. <laughs> I got a question for you. Okay. This is not a punchline of this. All right. But we're going to explore the space here for a second. Yeah. Okay? The word freedom. Sure. What what can it mean? Ooh, okay. Now 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 I'm gonna, I I pose the question to you. I'm gonna give you a minute to think about it. I've been listen I've I've been listening to a lot of J-pop. I've been back on my J-pop shit the past couple of years. All right. And uh, I have been in uh, there's one album I'm kind of circling around right now called Rainbow, and she sings a lot about freedom in that album. Enough to where you're thinking, maybe this means more than... Where it, com it comes around a lot, you know. Uh, uh, this battle with freedom will continue on. Okay. We can go everywhere, but we can go nowhere. We're free, but we're too free. Uh, they, they, and so outside of like, you know, there's obviously you can get a, a nationalistic pride sure. out, out of the idea of freedom. Murica and so on. Murica. But... And, I I think there is some, and and maybe it's maybe it's really simple. Maybe it's like in her in that case, like creative freedom or a certain amount of independence. But I I, I don't know. It got me thinking. It got me thinking. Like, well, what is it? What what is freedom? And what is a freedom that is something that you struggle with? Something something where you go like, oh yeah yeah, free freedom that thing. Yeah, I'll just just be battling that forever i don't know i it's not i think creative freedom is an easy way to read into it i think yeah that's an easy starting point but but even that can be difficult in days you know such days to where yeah you can be free but there can be consequences from that freedom well sure you know uh <laughs> okay this is a separate issue slightly separate issue okay all of the uh twitter elon Musk stuff going on Sure. So I, he had a tweet over the weekend that said, hey, if you got fired from your job because you tweeted, I will pay your legal bills to, to sue whoever. Unlim no, no limit to the funding. Just, I'll, yeah, I'll sue people for you. I'll sue people for that you. That is absolute bullshit. <laughs> Did anybody take him up on it? I can't imagine anyone would have believed. He would never. Re he would never respond to it. That was the. That would be the thing. He, don't, well, he wouldn't pay. No. He wouldn't. Pay, he wouldn't pay. No. He wouldn't pay. Uh, so okay. So I, I've, I've given you a couple of minutes here to cook on freedom. A freedom. Little, a little bit of a freedom barbecue. Yes. A freedom cookout. Um. How are those amber waves? They're. They are. They are. Grainy. They are very grainy. Mm. Uh. They are. Uh. Yeah, freedom. Like, okay, prof okay. How about to, to me, the word, the bigger, the other word that I always think of is liberty. I think a lot of people don't know what liberty means. And in and fact, all, I think all, maybe all, we don't really know. And what, for all of those people who don't know what it means, why don't you illuminate them? Well, they, just really briefly on what that's. Because that's my, the thing is, I think that maybe I don't actually know what liberty really means. If I ask Siri, do you think she'll define it? Well, let's find out. Okay. Uh, oh, here we go. Define liberty for us. What? 
No. Uh. <laughs> it says, I'm sorry. I don't know what that is either. <laughs> well, it gave me like search because I said for us. I think that meant like, I think it got confused for like the U.S. Yes. Define liberty. Liberty means the state of being free within society from oppressive restrictions imposed by authority on one's way of life, behavior, or political views. Do you want to hear the next one? No, I'm good. Thanks. No. Okay. So, uh, so. They're connected. So, so liberty is a political freedom. Yes. Or is this an oppressive freedom? Uh, a freedom of a freedom from oppression. Yes. Hmm. And I don't think we have that. I think we have it a lot less than other people, but it still exists. Yeah. But and I don't think it's necessarily political. I think a lot. Of, well, it's political. Be it's our more, politics are intertwined. Yes. In many ways. Yes. Yeah. And I don't necessarily know how to fight that except be the most honest, open person that you possibly can be mm. and understand that there might be consequences of that as well. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, uh, I mean, fuck, I don't want to get into the fucking right. free speech. Oh, don't, sure. can don't cancel my jokes. <laughs> Twitter's for comedy. <laughs> It's that's that's a that's a strange one. In in the case in the case of the music, hey, here's my read. Oh, I do like this. What's that? Freedom exists outside of society. Liberty exists within it. Oh, interesting. I mean, it's it's a great if have, phrase. If anything, it's a great phrase. Freedom exists as you can yeah. put that on a shirt for sure. Yep, you could definitely put that on a bumper sticker yep. for sure. I okay, that's interesting. I think as long as you have like a broad definition of outside of society, yeah, or. Outside of civilization? No, I don't know. Mm. Just, I don't know. Now I'm See, that's where it gets. This gets. These aren't mm. easy concepts. We we throw the words around, mm -hmm. but they're not actually easy concepts because for millennia we have not existed. That has not been a thing that most people sure live with. It bottle like just. Autonomy, exactly. Was, you know, it was not that long ago we had serfs. Right, we had serfs and kings. Like, uh, hmm, 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 hmm. It hmm. was not long ago that women couldn't drive cars or get credit cards unless their husbands got them for them. Yeah, I think that is okay. This is gonna sound a little. Here we hmm. go. I think it. I can find some amount of hope from framing our current just framing t humanity in 2023 as not yet having uh, we're not there yet yeah and uh i'm human so i'm only going to live about a hundred ish years sure maybe sure but I, I don't know. We get, I, 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 t I talk about this a lot and I have no fucking punchline for this, but you, but you spend a lot of time learning all of history. Yes. Rushing, 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 rushing through everything. And then you're spit out into the world where the news happens one day at a time. Ooh. Okay. And, and, and so I, I would like to think that, that when I, that if I see a problem or injustice, a systemic problem, problem of which i would say that there are some that it will the mag the level of magnitude this the, the magnitude of time mm -hmm. is larger than a human yes you know like i i also would love racism to go away and also it might take a few hundred years more yeah like it would it fucking really sucks because but like it, all of that stuff is so it, slow. it really isn't it really isn't a a consistent here we go here we go here we go yeah. it, it's just yeah, zroom. yeah yeah i mean and it's taken me 30 years to realize that that's the way it works i'm like well wait a minute isn't this just like oh no it's not right oh these things oh but we've been better yeah but then people suddenly decide whatever for fear or whatever mm -hmm. to go back yeah there's there there really is something to the the, the silent disagreement. Ooh, you know, you, you know the idea of like the uh, the silent majority. Yes, you know, uh, most people don't vote, so you never actually know who really got. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, but the silent majority 
politely disagree. They've picked their battles. Yeah, I saw is that, there was because there was so that, so there was that news story in the Washington Post, I think, over the last week, saying that more people are turning away from news. Yes, they are actively watching less news. Uh, they are watching national news less, mm -hmm. blogging news less, all of that stuff, and um, and and that. Is also an action. Oh no, not choosing right. to not watch is not just inaction. It is an action, an action. Yeah, Ooh, tongue twister. And hmm. And so, I, 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 I think that just there's a lot of people who are just like, that's not my bag. I'm not. I'm. You know what? Not my. Not my. Not my monkeys. Not my circus. Not my circus. Not my monkeys. Could it that be that? People are, and I don't like the, I don't like the the thoughts of alternative press or. They're just not looking for the same outlets of news. Did you just smell it yourself? Yeah, I smell it. Okay. Uh, uh, they're not looking for the same outlets of news. Like I don't, I barely read the papers anymore. Yeah. Uh, I don't watch, I don't watch like mainstream news. Because you know, but I will, I will listen in to the uh, political orphanage. Mm -hmm. I will, which isn't news, but it's philosophy. I will listen to "We're Not Wrong," which is not me doing a push. <laughs> I'm not doing a push for the shows, but I do watch them now, and I mean, and listen to them. And then I'll, you know, the some of the other. I, I try to find. Uh, uh, organizations like the Texas Tribune mm -hmm. and to where or or Christian Science Monitor uh, mm -hmm. uh, organizations like that that seem to be I mean everybody's biased but the bias is a little bit less and more the the way they phrase things doesn't make me uh, uh, automatically have my knee jerk yeah you know and so then I try to get the news that way or through AP even. Uh, mm -hmm. but, uh, so it's available. I'm just not going to that other stuff. Yeah. I'm not to totally turning away. Uh, yeah, I read that the that Washington Post article, and it made me go, "Okay, where am I getting my news from?" Yeah. Um, because since, especially since the Twitter stuff, I used to get a lot of my news from Twitter, <laughs> mm -hmm. and I do still get a good bit of stuff through Discord of people's sharing, sh people sharing stuff. Yeah. Um, but. In my, I have a, an RSS reader. I use News Blur. I'm still using News Blur after however long it was since Google Reader died. Um, and uh, let me read you. Just let me read you some of the sites that Bryce is getting his well-rounded yes, please global news from. Top of the list, uh, TheVerge.com. Okay. Tech. And, and okay, so The Verge is like I, I have to justify The Verge for a second. Okay, because The Verge is not great. Like The Verge's tech is right, ostensibly tech, but. When I, when I see something pop up on The Verge that's not tech or mm -hmm. is outside, then I know, oh, that's something to, to know is going on. Right. There are Trump indictments somewhere. Sure. So, like, like okay. Like, yeah. I don't need to know the details, but I know, hey, you know what? Eh, something's happening. Yeah. Um, and then I like tech. I, I like tech stuff. Sure. Uh, Daring Fireball, because I like tech stuff. Okay. Uh, K View here, the local uh, sure local NBC, especially for local stuff and and weather. Yes, especially uh, yeah. I really need to get those up to the date minute, uh, up to the date alerts that it's yes. going to be a hundred degrees again. Yeah. <laughs> do, do you see? Like, it was over. We broke the record for most consecutive hundred or for most consecutive three digit temperatures. Really? And they said, and we're probably going to fucking beat it by twenty days. Really? Yeah. <laughs> I thought we were over a hundred. I thought it was we had a hundred days where we're we're but it wasn't consecutive. About um, about eight or nine or eight years ago or something like yeah. that. No, I think this is consecutive. Oh wow! But it's 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 so 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 I'm getting that uh, Eurogamer mm -hmm. probably the only good video gaming news website or at least I don't know I'm an old I'm, I'm an old fart I like old. I like the I like the way it used to be. I like, <laughs> I like the time. Don't give me these interactives. Yeah. Uh, the Utopian, uh, it's, uh, uh, Jalopnik, okay, former Jalopnik, Jalopnik folks. Yeah. And then race fans for okay. F one stuff. Sure. But that is um, I don't I I I I don't 
the waterfall of news is so much. There, I can't. Right. And then, and then, when, if you get into like, okay, well, then just watch the, the national news, and it's like, well, then you gotta like, and then you gotta pick one. Then and everybody's gotta, angry, and yeah. I mean, it's all just, yeah. There's so much fear, and and it's not that I don't want to ignore it, mm -hmm. but it's it's almost like we need to make the news better, I, better to yes, watch. Yes, we need more naked people in the news. Yes, stripless stri stripper news. Yes. Okay, see, the, no, 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 no. I feel like we're about to become a Mike Judge. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'll tell you, man. <laughs> uh, the, how long before the news puts, like, Subway Surfers on the video feed? Before they start multitasking the news, just so people will pay attention? Uh, we'll give you the news, but it'll also it'll be Chirons while you're watching American They're going to make it even shorter to where it's TikTok news. Where it's going to be TikTok length news stories. Oh, okay. They will not be in depth. Mm -hmm. They will be blip, yeah. and then before you can be like, huh, it, next, and then they'll you'll be able to swipe to the next mm -hmm. thing, and then the algorithm. So then they'll just have a bunch of shit that then after a while they you do enough swiping, the algorithm lets you know, and then they learn mm -hmm. what the majority want, and they give more of that mm -hmm. until it's just a big mess of garbage. That's Oof. Yeah, I don't like that. The 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 cut a board thing that I described last yes. week is what you've extrapolated and it's way bad. Ugh. That's not that sounds really tough. Like having having an algorithm decide what your what the news is for you. Yeah. It was really do not, tough for do not like it. We need we need a news okay, here's okay, here we go. All right, are you ready for this? Okay, I'm ready. Let's Cricket News. Was it Cricket that did the pay as you go news? Okay. How much news do you want? Oh, I see. Do you want an hour of news a day? Yep. Do you want fucking six hours of updates all day long? Pay as you go, dog. Pay as you go, bitch. I think that could be that could be something. That could be. I guess. Hmm. You would need to. You would need to take all the news in. I'm trying to. I'm trying to logistic this out. So you need to take all the news in, but you need to be able to classify it by importance. So that's already a tricky a tricky wicket where you have to prioritize the news in a very consumer active way yeah and and then and then you're kind of the arbiter of well that's a that's a medium news but you're gonna sign up for high intensity news i think maybe if you uh have it set up to where it's like balanced meal news to where <laughs> to where you can have the food, the food pyramid the can, you can have yes you can have candy bits but then it'd be like <laughs> yeah but now you need to, we need to have some meat yeah. we need to have we need to have soy. We need to have some good soy. Oh we yeah. We need to have the I've, nut milk. You've got to find news. out about the futures of soy and <laughs> that's nut right. milk. That's right. Yeah. That's right. I, like, not the craziest idea. Right. The the way video is shaping up now, that is not the craziest idea. No. That's a pretty reasonable idea yeah. for a thing. It's like, oh, yeah, we want to give you this, but come on. We need to have an agreement. Because you are more right that what it will look what something might more like it will look more like TikTok. Right. Whatever, whatever the next thing is will look very, very much like TikTok. That's yeah. why shorts looks exactly like fucking TikTok. Right. And reels and all of this stuff. Yeah. Man, I get stuck on those. Oh, on reels? So many times. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah. All right. Just because it's good stuff? I, like, no, is it good stuff? Because it's the next stuff. It's, yeah, no. Okay, oh. no. But, but I noticed, like, it keeps the phone in my hand. To where I'm like, yeah, no, You're yeah, lingering. and I'm like, okay, I need to. You're well, lingering. I'll just do one, but I really need to get well, You're just lingering. one more, just one more. <laughs> and as as just as like, did you linger? Mm -hmm, you know mm -hmm. that? Yep. And I've been like going, no, fuck this. Yeah, let me get to watching. Okay, I Good Omens too. I mean, let me get to the <laughs> thing that I'm supposed to be doing. Yeah, I saw a TikTok the other day. That was, oh, it was, you know what? It was the, I'm pretty sure it was The Verge actually talking about this on their podcast. But they were saying that them, very tech heavy people, um, would scroll, they would realize that they were scrolling through reels because at some point they just realized they were watching really bad stuff. Yes. And then they're like, oh, yeah, oh, no, I'm not even on TikTok. I'm right. Like, which is, for someone, I have fallen into the like. I get, I get it for TikTok. I I understand what it, like the what, mm. how it draws people. I understand the addiction, man. Sure. I don't, I don't see it with reels. I okay. Don't, I don't. 
or I don't I I just don't I don't get it. Yeah. I don't know. It's very there's it's there's like a I don't know. It's, I, it's, I it's all weird. I the 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 worries that I was having for a while was why am I watching all these lawn mowing videos? Mm -hmm. To where, like, we're going to clean up this. We thought this lawn looked terrible. So we said we're going to take care of this for free. Is that is that EK subliminally? No, that's me. Because my lawn, my lawn, my lawn. I, no, I get, I get that. <laughs> it's all, you know, that's the one thing that shows up a lot. The bully videos, just anything with bullying in it. Oh, really? And the consequences. But it's never the actual consequences. It's just the lead up. So that always irritates the shit out of me. Uh, I'm like, okay. And then, uh, and then... Um, and they, there's Modern Rogue and that kind of stuff that pops up. So I'm like, okay, that part makes sense to me. Yeah. But uh, I still go back to what I said last week where I'm going, I do not actually want to watch bullying videos. I don't want to see people get their cover, especially when it's these are just movie clips from shitty movies that I'm going, I don't want to watch. I didn't watch that movie on purpose. The rampant theft. Just the rampant theft. <laughs> On social video sites, it, it's wild. The thing, the thing that's gotten me on lately has been uh, uh, Uber drivers, because Uber, because there's a whole making people get out of their cars. Yes, 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 yeah. Because <laughs> it, because it riles me up. Yeah. Right. Because like, yeah, lady, get out of the fucking car. You thought you were slick. You thought you were gonna do the the uh, what, what is it? The, you cancel you cancel the ride once yes. you get in, but obviously they know. Obviously, it tells but them. But the acting's not even that good it's, that happens in it. It's not. It's not. Or it's always like, oh, I'll just pay you when we get there. I'll just pay you when we get there. Like, no. No, dog. Like, no, dog. That's not how this works. And so, and it used to be, it used to be a, a car, car crash, car accident videos. Not, not bad ones, but like dash cam. Yeah. Dash cam stuff. No, I've seen some pretty horrible stuff, too. Yeah. Oh my yeah. gosh! I watched <laughs> you, and YouTube's getting better about this now too. YouTube gave me a compilation last night that was the most intense Formula One crashes, sorted by G-force. Parentheses not lethal. Oh, <laughs> you're like, <gasps> it, well, I see that. I'm like, okay, yeah, risky but, click. But but and then they get bad, and then that and they year right before they show it and so they've got one from 1994 which was the year when uh Ayrton senna died at a race um and, and for a second i was like they're not gonna they're not they're gonna, not gonna lie they're not gonna lie to me they're not gonna do that right and they didn't okay but um whew, it's it's i I liked it. I liked watching it. I'm not yeah. gonna say I didn't like watching I it. Know. <laughs> I know. But do you feel a little dirty afterwards though? You should have seen how that one dude spun. Oh, okay. You should have seen how that tub spun, man. The the only the only one that's totally impressed me is the dude in the NASCAR that rode the wall around. <laughs> yes. That is the one that I'm like, that is hilarious. It's so good. And I think they ended up making that against the rules. Now. Yes, they did. It, it, they were, at first they were like, eh, we're not gonna do it. it. But yeah, they didn't do anything. Yeah. But 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 on it and honestly, you can't. <laughs> you can't do that. <laughs> or, it, He's or, like, well, I did. <laughs> yeah, it, well, you, got, you know what? Slip of the tongue. Uh, <laughs> that's only a good idea in that exact yes. situation. Yes. <laughs> Yes. Uh, and Scoop Shooter's right. He learned it from he, he afterwards. He's like, yeah. I, learned it from a video I was game. playing NASCAR Heat. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. Uh, uh, a video game topic for you really quick. Okay. I've got Apple Arcade. Sure. And uh, they added a new game recently. All right. And it's making quite a stir. It's Hello Kitty Island Adventure. Okay. And is it PG thirteen? <laughs> no, it's not. It is. It is, okay. it is like an actual Hello Kitty thing. Okay, but it's it's so your your man Jeff got it right. The the one from South Park, 
Do you, did does the name Hello Kitty Island Adventure mean anything to you? No, I mean I know Hello Kitty, but not okay. Island Adventure. So, do you remember the South Park episode where they where it was in Machinima? It was in World of Warcraft Machinima. Yes. So, Hello Kitty Island Adventure is the game that Butters says he's going to keep going. He's going to go play instead of World of Warcraft. Oh, okay. But that game never existed. That game now exists. Oh, no. Because now Sanrio actually made a game called Hello Kitty Island Adventure. And does Trey and... Uh, no, 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 no. They're no. like, fine. It, uh, it's, it's also not a good game. Sure. It's, it's Animal Crossing for children. I thought Animal Crossing was for children. And I, and I can see why you might think that. <laughs> but no. Oh, but no. Because... Because Animal Crossing is good, and children can't appreciate good things. <laughs> they can't. I'm. They can't do it. I mean, I've seen the baby car, so I, I think I understand what you're talking about now. Yeah, it's 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 just it's really tough. So it it's fucking weird. It's fucking weird because it's 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 supposed to be or it certainly looks like an animal crossing game like okay. you're on an island they actually get dumped off into an island and there are empty houses and you're meeting all of the sand oh there's there's the frog and all yeah but in the couple of hours that i've played it you just spend your time get it it really it fucking honestly is a lot like world of warcraft you are going and doing fetch quests. Oh, that's funny. You're just going like, oh, you need to go and find. You got to find the yellow energy yeah. crystal. Here's your scan. Here's your hot cold and, scanner. And at <laughs> no point can you say, why don't you fucking go get it? I mean, come on. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Like, no one is at this cafe. Right. I would be at the cafe and I'm here. That That's how I felt. And I love Skyrim. Over 500 hours on that game. <laughs> Over 500 hours easily. Okay. And the the thing that I always think is, if some of you people would come with me, we could clean this place up a lot faster. I'm doing all this shit by myself. Yeah. Wow. Hmm. Uh, Mechadonna Prime asks, is Retzko there? Uh, she is. They're, like they They do have like, all the I'm gonna say the big names, but they all, do have the big names. All the, all the stars. They got Hello Kitty. They got Retsuko. They got uh, they have the frog. They got bats. The penguin. Um, the uh, the dog. They've got the dog Chuck Pachoco. Pacho. So they got all your favorites. Yeah, they got all your favorites. My friend uh, Tiffany Grant, who played Oscar in uh, in Evangelion, mm. has I think she pretty much had every Sanrio Hello Kitty thing. Oh, she yeah. had a whole huge room that had, I mean, everything, even the sketchy things. Oh. She's got some of the sketchy things. Oh. Yes. Wait. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. I'm, I'm, giving, I'm giving you eyebrows. Yes. I'm giving you I'm, I'm agreeing to all the eyebrows. Wow. Yes. Is it barbed? Yes. What? Yeah, well, she didn't show it to me. She just told okay. me she had it. Okay. So <laughs> Christ alive. Yes. Huh. The gun too. What? Yep. <laughs> well, the, okay, but the gun. The, the, uh, that's the, okay, but I feel like that's less impressive. Sure. But yeah, she's got. Wow. You know, she was like, "Well, there's stuff in the closet." I go, "I don't want to. I don't want to see that stuff." Wow. So, yeah. I guess Hello Kitty. Mm. And and I don't know if it's actual Sanrio. Yeah, it might be actual Sanrio. <laughs> it's you never. The Japanese are amazing people. <laughs> they don't make Hello Kitty sex toys. Not official. You're not gonna buy one. Is gonna have a holographic logo on it. I mean, they made a they made a, a Harry what? Potter what? broom that vibrates. <laughs> <sighs> Can I talk about? You gotta talk about my. Uh... Please do. Please do. Okay, I'll change. I'm changing the subject. Oh, thank God. Uh, update. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. Uh, on Chester, my car. Yeah. What? So, so last time. Last time I got rear-ended on the way over here, and I took it in to get a claim on it. And yeah, they're gonna have to replace the whole back bumper and the two side panels, and it's gonna be a month. A month. A month. Damn. Yeah. Yeah. So. I was like, could you? And it was funny. It's, it's just the bumper in those two panels? Yeah. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Uh, and it, what was funny was when I went to the place to do it, they were like, okay, we'll mark the stuff that's not 
you know, the damage that's on here that's not has to do with the wreck. Mm -hmm. And so they did, and it looked like... <laughs> It looked like somebody had put graffiti all over my car oh, by the time we're done. This thing, we didn't do this thing. This thing, the scratch, this thing. Yeah. Meanwhile, they, you go to rent a car. They don't want to hear any of that. No, nope, they just say, sir, we'd like to get you a rental car. You know, the Enterprise uh, called me and so, said. So, okay, so so it's going to take a month. It's going to take a month. We, we live in America. You need a car. Yes. Or did you walk here? You can't fucking walk here. No, no, no. I got a, I, I got a rental. And what's okay. funny, I mean, insurance companies ended up the guy, the guy that everybody talked about that hit me was an idiot, and uh, and so I couldn't get. Uh, I got a lot of information out of him enough to where I could do something with it, mm -hmm. but uh, supposedly he's with the, uh, a different insurance company than mine. I tried; it didn't seem to be working. Luckily, I'm a grown up, so I have full coverage. Yeah. And uh, and I said to my company, you guys, can you please handle it? And they go, there's this thing called subrogation. I go, I know what subrogation is. What's my deductible? They said 500. I said, cool. That is, that is yeah, that's not that Cool, bad. let's yeah. do it. I mean, let's do that. And uh, $50 a day for car rental. Okay, that's a, that's that, a good, they that's covered a good 50, amount. 50 a day. So they immediately, I mean, it was all great. Uh, the, everybody called me. Yeah. And... Uh, uh, when when I got my hit and run, gosh, a couple of years back now, it it was very it was very similar. Of like, I don't you here, uh, my car is busted. Uh, tell me where to go, and yeah. I'll do it. Yeah, there was I've got I've Geico, and there was like a Geico garage that sure. had like a person in there. Yep. Um. So okay, so so we, we did have a funny moment of trying to pick out who I was going to take, what collision specialist. Was I going to take the options. car to? Yeah, I had options. Because oh. I told them, what do you guys recommend? And they're like, well, where do you live? And I said, this area. And they're like, okay, well, we have we have Sa Safeco Collision King. Mm, okay. We have Service Masters. Ooh. Very, very impressive names. Yeah. And we have Jeff. <laughs> uh, I was like, is he a regent of Jeff. any kind? <laughs> Jeff, I was like Could he Jeff. Be Lord and then Jeff? I'm like, no, Jeff repaired Jeff. I was like Jeff. Yeah. And there was like, yeah. And I go like Count Jeff. I almost want to go to Jeff. Really? I, Cause Jeff. And he's like, yeah, he's local. I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna go to Service Masters uh, or Master Collision or whatever the yeah. name. It's like, yeah, they're gonna take care of it. But next time, next time Jeff's gonna next get time I'm time. going to Jeff. That's right. Uh, uh, so yeah, the rental car called me and they went to set it up. I ended up having to talk to him three times before because we were trying to get, they wanted to drop off the car at the, uh, at the collision specialist. So I could just oh. drop the car off and then just go. Yeah. And I, I didn't, I hadn't scheduled that part yet. Mm. So, uh, uh, I was like, so, you know, why don't I come just pick up the car on the rental on Sunday? Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, I got a lot. Maybe, maybe we'll just do that and we'll, you know, and he said, okay, uh, well, we'll have your SUV uh, ready for you. And I was like, mm -hmm. well, they love to give you SUVs because, because I'm a middle aged man. And they were like, well, and because, because your insurance is going to cover f fucking $50 a day. That's true. You know, so that's, you know, and, and, you know, you get, and I, I can see a world where like, Hey, you know, you're the insurance company. People need a car. Yeah. If they got a family or whatever, it's sure. just, just fucking give them an SUV. Yeah. Everyone will be fine with a big car. Sure. Well, I didn't want that. Okay. I was like, because it's not like you got. I don't drive an SUV. Unless, I said, kid seats. I was like, stuff. unless you got a Jeep Wrangler for me, I don't want an SUV. Are you a Jeep guy? Do you want remember? A Jeep? I was a Jeep guy oh, for right. years. That's right. That's right. That's right. Twenty okay. something years. Yeah. And so I was like, no, nah, you know, no, just. You can give me something smaller, you know, something uh, sportier. And they're like, you gotta okay. use your per diem, though. They said, okay. So then get off the phone. Then when they call again to confirm, it's like, yeah. And they said, Mr. Weaver, we'll have your SUV ready for you. And I was like, I did not ask for an SUV. Yeah. Thank you. Can I get something a little more gas efficient? I would like something just a little bit sportier. And they're sportier. And I was like, yes. Mm. Okay, sir. We'll ready. And they called the third time just later on, said, we got it. And I go, do not tell me it's an SUV. you have an SUV for me. <laughs> and they're like, no. And I was like, you know, I want something smaller, sportier. And I should have heard the guy because he said it just like this. Okay. 
just oh, like that. Oh shit! And I was I should have heard that mo thing. And so yeah. uh, uh, okay. cut cut to. I ended up uh, dropping off my my car mm -hmm. Saturday, and I was like, I don't care. I could just, in fact, the Enterprise place is walking distance from my house. Oh, okay. Great. So I could just walk down. You know, it's not that morning. far. It's not that far. <laughs> so I go and I walk down, mm -hmm. and uh, as I go past the Toyota place and see the Enterprise place, I see some cars there, and I was like, huh, that would be funny. And I just keep walking and see one car, and I'm like, "That's okay. funny." And and I walk in and and place, you know, say, "Hey, I'm here to pick up the car." Mm -hmm. and they're like, "Yeah, Mr. Weaver, we got it. We've got a Chrysler 300 for you." Isn't that a minivan? Isn't no, no, minivan? it's the it's the kind of the Chrysler that's oh, um, it's kind of a like gangster. a sedan, it's, like a, it's a very sedan, like a nice sedan. Yeah. yeah, and I was like, "No, that's not." That's thank Whoa. you, but no. And he's like, "Well, we've got this Toyota Celica All here right. for you." And I'm All like, right. "Okay, that's it's red, it's sporty. Sure, let's go with that." And, he, and yeah. he's going, and he goes, "Oh no, wait a minute, that's not what we've got. We've got something set aside for you." <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you here? Here's how I know you've already fucking stepped in it. <laughs> That's what you say when, when, when in that guy's head, the first time you told him sporty, yes, he got it. Yes. He knew. Yes. He, he, he couldn't change it in the computer because no. the computer's got fucking laws. Right. But you want sporty. <laughs> he, he wants sporty. Okay. Sure. Him, uh, no. Can you give me a sporty? Okay. Yeah. Fucking sporty. And so. And then he shows, and he's, okay. Well, don't you want a fucking Cadillac? No, right. Don't you no, want no, 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 no. <laughs> yeah. And it's almost like I said, look, motherfucker. I want something sporty. So, does it give you a go kart? Does it give you a? I wanted a go kart. You wanted a go. -kart. You want to go put up the picture? Okay, I'll go, to go put up the picture right. of what it is. Explain it. Yeah. Well, I mean, I'll I'll get there. Just say it first for the audio. Just say well because we're okay. Fine. The audio show. Well then, come and get on the mic say with it. me. <sighs> they got me a Dodge Challenger. Is Great what they got me. <laughs> That's absolutely right. Yes. Yeah, get on the yes. mic. Yes. They got me. Of course you did. A Dodge Challenger, uh, a beautiful maroon okay? car. Uh, it is like as I walked up, I started laughing. They can Google a Dodge Challenger. I was. I They're was, not. They, we don't think that you're lying. I was when you laughing say that you're getting a Dodge Challenger. I was Challenger. laughing about it. By uh, you know, Ek was like, "Are we can getting I ask a divorce?" You a story? She asked me. Ask, Are can, we, I ask, <laughs> can I ask you a story? Sure. Or, uh, you question. can ask me about the story. I'm sure. gonna ask you a question about the story. Okay. Did it go on so long because you were expecting Bryce to telepathically put the picture up no, there? No. We had worked this out. <laughs> yes. Where he would set it up so he, he where he could he could talk for just ten seconds for me to go back to the computer and, and hit, hit the, the button, button. to yeah. show it, and then and we even made a point of saying like, and when I hit the button, you have to describe what it is. Yes, so that that's what I was gonna do, Justin. Yeah. Can I just say this? And, and I, I, I'm just now sitting next to Bryce under the lights, oh. but your facial hair makes you look like you'd be the teacher who fucks a student. No! <laughs> <laughs> and by the way, it's the coolest you've ever looked. Oh. The coolest you've ever looked. Oh, yes. It looks it's... so fucking good. Mm -hmm. uh, it looks so that's good. That's right. You can you could you can do a little bit of the smolder. You can work on your smolder. Yeah. yeah. That's yeah. right. Mm. Oh no, yeah, yeah. Oh, not like that. Jesus. No. You have work to do. But like <laughs> I'm working on it. I'm working on yeah, it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, baby steps, baby steps, you know. I I part of it is like I, I can tell I'm rubbing it more. Yeah, and it's I gonna start I'm itching. Touching. I'll just let you know. It will no, start no, no, itching. No, 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 no. If it's already there, it's already like yeah, gone, gone. I know I'm not gonna get it. Yeah. Uh, man, I know about hair itching. Don't yeah. uh, believe you me. Yeah, we just talked. We, last <laughs> last about, week was all about ass shaving, so <laughs> this motherfucker knows. No. You can, it, when it's, look, man, when it's 100 degrees for like 40 days straight, the runway's got to be clear. <laughs> there we go. There we go. There we go. There, there we, we go. go. Okay, five minutes, everybody. Thank you, Bob. <laughs> he cleared himself out. <laughs>
So the the punchlines that I had for, and I actually said this to the to the guy who give, given me the car. I said, "Do you think that I'm divorcing my wife? Do you think I'm going to be the guy that visits its kids once a uh, one weekend a month? Do you think that... I live my life a quarter mile at a time? <laughs> exactly. It's like, am I going to have to wear Hawaiian shirts all the time now? I don't know. I think like if I were writing a television show based only on you physically and i knew nothing about you yeah i get you a charger yeah i know i will admit this is you trying to uh, uh, statement against type right yeah like, like you you you're like no no no. i want a tiny car give me a i want i want a small little car sure. not uh, a small I, little car i just want a thimble of a car <laughs> i just right. want i just want a small little I would speck just of like dust a little, of a car a little dime I'm of just a, a car. little baby and i, I go mean, in a little bassinet and i and, and I like baby huey of exactly. cars and, and 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 you know you might think of me as intimidating sure you might, Brian might involuntarily come when he sees you with a shaved <laughs> head because yeah. he's scared and there's right. a, a there's a whole there. thing with that. But you are not that person. No, you I'm are not. a sensitive artist. You I are am. somebody for whom vibrates with the artistic espers of the universe. Yes. And what you want is a car that says that. Yes. Because though I from, did do, though I did drive a Jeep for many many years, which says that. Yeah. That's I mean like the the Jeeps in Austin. I've come to realize. Are a reaction to the trucks. Yes. Because Absolutely the trucks right. are are what the bullies in high school drive. Yes. And the Jeeps are what the nerds in high school drive. Interesting. And the only thing that they agree on is they want to be higher than a sedan. Exactly. <laughs> that is absolutely true. Mostly because they all grew up in trucks. Yeah. So they all are used to the idea of like, like why okay, can't when I see around this guy? Like, like this is for for a teenager that I'm at sedan level. Yeah. When I'm an adult and I get enough money, then I will be higher. That is a signifier of maturity. And and but you don't if you're an avant garde artist. If you are somebody sure. for whom does not want to identify with the meathead ruling class, True. you are like, no, 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 no. I want to have another thing. I I don't even want windows. Mm -mm. Uh, I want. I can be doors, rugged. It's barely fine. doors. In fact, I want the option to remove my door. Yes, that's what I want. I want a Jeep. Yes. And meanwhile, everybody else has a Ford F one fifty, and right. <laughs> they're the one who's actually cheating on their wife. I did have. I did have uh, when I was uh, performing. <laughs> they, they they have they have the the the, the middle compartment. Just for guns. Yes. <laughs> it has it has separate separate little sleeves for guns. See, that's the thing about Jeeps. Can't even put a gun rack in. No, couldn't. Could not. Couldn't if you wanted to. No. That's the whole You could you have to duct tape it to That's right. the uh uh to, to the it's, it's, canvas. It's all worse <laughs> than what it, when I when I was uh doing a, a show at Zach Scott Theater playing the dad character in the play, the 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 starlet who was like sixteen years old was walking with me out to our cars and she saw my Jeep and she's like you drive a Jeep? And I said, yeah. What? And she goes, Jeeps are gross. I was like, why would you say that? She goes, boys who go to Daytona for, for spring break drive Jeeps like that. <laughs> and I said, that hurts. Yeah. But it's not untrue. <laughs> well, because I do think that they mean something different outside of Texas. Yes. yes. They are. They are. Because also... Uh, a lot of girls drive Jeeps in yep. L.A. Yeah. There's a certain type of girl who drives a Jeep in L.A. Those, those would probably be the girls that I would like. Yeah. Yeah. I got a lot of friends like that. Yeah. Yeah. But they're specific. <laughs> <laughs> they're a specific kind of lady. I, I did find it very interesting. One of the outcomes of this was my reaction to the Charger. And that I'll be driving it for a month now. Yeah. And and in the end, I was like, what is that? Why am I reacting so much to these cars? It's just a car. But it's interesting how... Are you going to start smoking? No. You, you want to try, though? Like, just for like a weekend? I have my pipe. I, I'll smoke my pipe. But you that's it. You can't smoke a pipe in a Charger. No, but I can't smoke in the Charger. I mean, There's no smoking attitude. in it. Not with that attitude. Uh, yeah, that's true. You're driving a Charger now. I, 
I tried to convince my wife once when we were in Japan. I was like, everybody was smoking because they like uh, like the fifties never ended when it came to mm-hmm. uh, smoking in Japan. Even now, uh, I was like, hey, should we just smoke for like this vacation? <laughs> And she's like, no, like I have asthma. I'm like, okay, well, not you, but can I just can like, I just do can that? I just chain smoke? I've Fire never, some butts. By the way, I have never smoked in my life. I have never been Except a cigars. regular cigarette smoker. Yeah, yeah. Just cigars. Yeah, but that's a different thing. Yeah, like that's like you know, that's it's like going to a water park regularly versus owning a pool. <laughs> like that's that's the difference. I kind of get that. The, the, there is a commitment, a lifestyle commitment, yeah. that comes along with smoking cigarettes all the time. Yeah. Whereas, like, I I might go to this the the, the water park too often. Right. But I'm still I still don't own it. Right. Right. <laughs> I don't own it culturally. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> I asked her, and she said no. She said no, you shouldn't do it. And I was like, well, I don't know. But now I'm going to feel like less of a man. Amongst all these Japanese people smoking cigarettes all the time. And then I realized that uh, even as a small boy in America, I was still Towering. a foot taller than yes. everybody else. And I felt more secure. Yes. Yeah. F- suddenly it was okay. Yeah. I, I frightened many a Japanese person while I was there in Japan. I would say. And yeah. imagine if you pulled up in your charger. Yeah. You would I mean, that would have might, been you might now be, that I'm totally on board with you might be emperor yeah <laughs> I mean like this is my my place now and they were like hi yeah yeah oh boy uh well I think I'm out of things that I wanted to talk about while I was watching <laughs> yeah that was yeah <laughs> yeah I think I blew through it that's good let's let's start that was a good warm up hey Bryce it's back to you yeah all right thank you to the green room. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the rest of the Great Night Pre-Show Green Room, Great Room Holding Thing. Bryce Castillo is still here, and I'm still green in your room, baby. Had a few minutes before we get started. Of course, reminding you over at patreon.com slash great night. That's where you can support this holding thing. I'm going to talk a little bit about uh, speedy cars for, for a minute. It's it's the summer break. It's the summer break. There's nothing going, there's nothing going on. Um... There is, there, okay, there's, there was a thing out, a very small thing. It was a, it was so small. Uh, Carlos Sainz, current uh, driver for Ferrari, uh, has apparently, per rumors, signed a pre-contract agreement with Audi when they, because they're going to take over or the uh, for the Sauber team, or they're gonna the Sauber team will become the Audi team in a few years, and and this practice happens a lot where uh, racers will have a will have a, have a, like a second agreement with another company, and it won't it won't even it won't even probably even be real. Uh, but like, hey, if you if you ever I know you're where you're at that team, but if you ever leave, hey, we'll ha- where have, we would love to get. We would love to get a, a first first crack, and uh, I, I, and and so I I don't think it's odd that it happened. Uh, all, all apparently all of the drivers have, yeah, I usually have little deals like this somewhere, um, but it does put some questions into who, what is that Sauber team gonna keep looking like uh, after this? Uh, because right now they got Valtteri. Who is good? I mean, he was very, very good in a very, very good car. Um, and you've got Joe, who is um, still a little new, but is is holding is holding his own. But I don't know if Joe makes it all the way to the Audi uh, period or not. But I think Botas, I think Botas could, and and so that leaves the door open for what is a a Botas signs a Sauber Audi team look like? Because you've got you've got a lot of you've got a lot of experience with Botas, but he has experience driving a very good car. Speaking of driving a very good car, uh, Sergio Perez, uh, uh, kind of in a tough spot after uh, after the first half of the season. He uh, uh, his re- he's 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 being attacked on all sides uh, from from his teammate who is just. Uh, Utterly destroying him to 
uh, uh, to to both of the drivers in the sister team, Yuki and Daniel, who would l- who would love would love to be the number two at Red Bull. Yes. yes Speaking Paul. of driving a fast car, Tracy Chapman. Did did she do something? She. She has a fast car. Does have a fast car. And you know what? She does I'm 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 told that she does have a fast car. I would have loved to remember the person who does the version of that song that's actually relevant, but I'm too old. Tr- Tracy Tra- Chapman? Well no, tra- so Tracy Chapman initially sang that song. Right. Right? Uh Luke Combs? Yeah. Maybe? Ah. yeah I don't know him. I don't know him because either. Because I'm old. I'm getting on Reddit. They're they're recommending to me pop culture things. Oh no! And they're all Chat GPT gibberish. <laughs> it just what like, is that like? What what would that even? What is that? Did Luke Bibbleflop just kiss Dingle Hop? But like not what? I don't know what I mean. Like, is it could, because they're like small influencers? They're like micro celebrities. Fuck if. They, they might be influencers. Uh-huh. They might be TikTokers. They might be the president of the United States of America. I have no idea that it is just a n- endless supply of names as I slowly decay and die. Yeah. That's what that like, like every name that I don't know to me mm-hmm. might as well be TikTok. Uh, uh, in, in in a successive order, but the font gets smaller and smaller, <laughs> like like throughout yeah, all of them that your, I read. Yeah, TikTok and they, they are slowly getting smaller <laughs> to the point where I would go back and be like, oh, oh, that's when I was young when I just didn't know Dingle Dop. Yeah. It's it's getting worse. We have I just I realized putting this putting the stories together. We've got at least two stories today about how old we're getting. <laughs> and you want to know what? I feel like we need to steer into the skid. Yeah, we need. Yeah, you want to. Uh, uh, th- th- we are from a bygone era where being up on pop culture just meant turning on one television station. That's true. It didn't used where to be all encompassing. You, you could just watch MTV. You could watch E. You could watch like the things for which the fonts of regular knowledge. It was a sign of laziness <laughs> if you did not keep up with pop culture. Right, because it was so easy. Fucking impossible. It like it is literally you you cannot do it. So I'm saying we go the other way. You wanna know up. what? We're now the old guy show. <laughs> We're only gonna talk about pop culture from the nineties. Okay. We're only going to talk about things that happened between the years of nineteen seventy and two thousand and ten. Mm. Everything else, if we know it, eh. <laughs> that I <laughs> Uh, wow, that's uh, uh, huh. I'm making a lot of cavalier decisions. Yeah, because now I have sole control of the show. You have executive, and all these decisions are binding forever. No, oh wow, yeah. oh, okay. binding forever. No, because I think the audience that is listening to us right now, yes, they don't want to know about Baby Gronk being the Riz King. No, or they were, or if they want to know about Baby Gronk being the Riz King, they want to know of, of us being like. What the fuck is happening? From us. The youth has gone insane. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, we should take away their right to vote. <laughs> sure. Uh, uh, oh, man, this... Okay. Uh, we, you know, we did the uh, the Planet of the Base thing last week, or... Yes. You know? Yes. Uh, that guy's been doing a very, very funny bit <laughs> with that song. So the, the full version of the track comes out, like, in a week or so. He's been making new... Set your timer. He's been making new versions of that video... And he stays the same, but the woman changes. <laughs> but the really, but the recording is the same at all. It's, it's. I, I I did see another thing, but I thought it was the same woman. They were just in a different place. No, they they got a new, they got a two new, new women. Woman? They're they're two new women, and so no one knows who the real quote Miss Biljana Electronica is. Uh, but it's it's such a clever. I think it's such a clever thing. Like. The planet of the base people. Yeah. I think he even tweeted out like, oops, I did a Millie Vanilli. Which like, okay, we know what you're doing. Uh, we know you know what you're doing. Uh, do do I, kids these days know who Millie Vanilli is? Annalisa No, asks, probably not. No. You want to know what? On our new show, <laughs> we don't give a fuck. Right. We're not talking to them. They don't want us. Right. 
They, so they, we're going to talk to the people who know who Millie Vanilli is. Yes. That's it. In fact, if you don't know who Millie Vanilli is right now, get the fuck, fuck out. <laughs> I think you want to know what? I'm, 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 I'm sure Hassan <laughs> is watching some video of AOC cleaning her toenails. Yeah. Sure. I'm sure you'll love that. We get it. You're really muscular. Yeah, right? You know, like, come on, man. Like, come on, yeah, brah. Don't, don't, don't shove your pecs I know. down my throat. I'm sure he's uh, shaking he hands would, with Adam ruins everything yeah. for 45 minutes. And then, yeah. Who, who, I don't know who any of these people are anymore. But I, 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 yes, good. Let's let it out. The, yep. Let's let it out. The, the Austin show, I get a lot of clips for. And he's like a, Austin Butler, the guy who became Elvis. No, he was the dude. He was the, he played Elvis in the movie, yeah. and uh, then and then he allegedly just never stopped being Elvis. Oh, really? Like, That's yeah. a good bit. This, exactly, this, right? Yeah, this feels comfortable. That is a good bit. Um, uh, uh what, what, shit, what was I saying? I totally lost it. It's you were talking about the Austin show. Oh yeah. So I I I guess. He does stuff with Hassan, and so I get clips of him and Hassan, but then I yeah. I lingered, and now it's just things mm -hmm. I really want to know about. And you know what? I kind of do want it because he is kind of like, is kind of interesting. It kind of works. Yeah. Unfortunately, I am kind of. You familiar. lingered. I lingered. You lingered. I've learned something from Justin. What'd you, what'd you learn? Never linger. Never linger. Yeah. Well, I ripped that off from Auntie Donna. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You lingered, Mark. You lingered, Mark. You lingered. You lingered. Okay. Uh, you want to do a show? Sure. Hell yeah. All right. Well, thank you everybody for joining us here in the pre-show. Headphones. Let's see. Oh, by the way. Yes. Uh, uh, Brett, do you have bumpers for all the topics, or or do you have the topics written down somewhere? No. I, have I know them. we I know we discussed them, but I certainly don't remember them. I have them. And okay, in, good. Yes. I will tell you what we get. <laughs> <laughs> all righty. Let's do our final checks here. Uh, Annalisa. Uh, Justin. Yay, yay. Brett. Hello, friend. Oh, okay. Uh, and our beautiful studio audience. Yay. And the chat. Thank you, everybody, for joining us here on the Great Night Green Room. Great, great show. Green home. All the stuff. Let's do the thing. Brett, I got you. Let's do it. Live from Austin. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Where four turns into three, which is confusing. Ah, uh, okay, all right. <laughs> Brett, count me in, buddy. I'll count you in. Keep all this in. Ah, okay. <laughs> and three, two. <laughs>